we all need some cholesterol in our bodies, just to keep us ticking over. But having too much cholesterol in our blood can lead to health problems. Cholesterol is a type of fat with an important job to do, like forming the wall of cells, making things our body needs like vitamin D and bile, which helps digest fat. Most of the cholesterol in our blood is made by the liver, but we can also get some from the foods we eat. Cholesterol can't travel in the blood on its own. It gets transported by lipoproteins. There are two main lipoproteins, LDL and HDL. Meet HDL. HDL stands for High Density Lipoprotein. HDL carries cholesterol away from the arteries, so is often referred to as good cholesterol. The other type of lipoprotein is LDL, which is the main carrier of cholesterol in the blood. The cholesterol carried by LDL is often referred to as bad cholesterol, when there's too much of it floating in the bloodstream. LDL carries around a lot of cholesterol, but too much LDL cholesterol in the blood can get into the walls of your arteries. Over time, this can build up causing the arteries to narrow. This can restrict the blood flow, leading to diseases of the heart and blood vessels, which may cause a heart attack or stroke. The collective term for this is cardiovascular disease, so it's really important to get your cholesterol levels checked. The only way to get checked is to have a blood test, or sometimes a finger prick test. Talk to your doctor, nurse or pharmacist to find out how this can be arranged. Your results include your LDL cholesterol or bad cholesterol levels and your HDL cholesterol or your good cholesterol levels. You should get your triglyceride levels checked too. This is called a lipid test. This test looks at all the fats in your blood, not just cholesterol. Triglycerides are the most common type of fat in your body. They come from two sources, one made by the liver and one from our diet from foods like butter, oils and other fats you eat. The body uses this type of fat for energy or it can be stored for use when required. So what do your cholesterol results mean? First is your total cholesterol. This refers to your overall level of cholesterol. This includes the cholesterol carried around in HDL, LDL as well as other lipoproteins which are known to be harmful if there's too much of them. For healthy individuals at low risk of cardiovascular disease, you should aim to have an LDL cholesterol level below 3.0 millimoles per litre. Men should aim for an HDL cholesterol above 1 millimoles per litre and women should aim for an HDL cholesterol above 1.2 millimoles per litre. Levels up to 1.4 millimoles per litre are thought to offer best protection. Your non-HDL cholesterol is your total cholesterol minus your HDL cholesterol. It's all the bad cholesterol added together, including your LDL cholesterol. Ideally, it should be below 4 millimoles per litre, but the lower, the better. Finally, you might be given a TC to HDL ratio, which is the ratio of HDL cholesterol compared to the total cholesterol. You can work it out by a simple division total cholesterol divided by HDL cholesterol. This should be as low as possible. Anything above 6 millimoles per litre is considered high risk. Ideally, your triglyceride level without fasting should be below 2.3 millimoles per litre. If your cholesterol or triglycerides are high, this can be genetic or it can be associated with being overweight, an unhealthy diet, drinking too much alcohol, smoking, diabetes or having a sedentary lifestyle. If your levels are a little high, there are loads of things you can do to keep your cholesterol and triglycerides in check, like cutting down on foods high in saturated fat and added sugar and replacing with healthier options, keeping yourself active for 30 minutes a day at least five days a week, maintaining a healthy weight and quitting smoking as smoking lowers HDL cholesterol and makes LDL cholesterol stickier, so it's easier to cling onto the artery wall. In some cases, medication is required. You should discuss this with your healthcare professional. Once you get your levels under control, it's important to maintain a healthy diet and lifestyle and continue to take your medication as prescribed. 
If you want to find out more, we have loads of information and support about managing cholesterol and triglycerides on the Heart UK website. Lowering cholesterol, saving lives. Together, we can make a big difference.